So this is gonna be a short video. I just wanted to go over this tutorial real quick because I realized that there weren't any tutorials or forums out there explaining it already. So you already saw the title. Here's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be creating this file, this batch file right here. For those of you who don't know, a batch file is a, is a file type capable of sending lines of code to command prompt or CMD for Windows. I use this mainly for troubleshooting and automation as we're gonna be going over here. Here's what it does when I double click on it, it creates this directory tree right here. The difference between this tutorial and others is that mostly what people show you is how to create one directory with one folder, sorry, with one subfolder. What I have here is a directory tree with one click. It's one folder with subfolders inside, with subfolders inside, with more subfolders inside. So let's go over how to make this. First thing you want to do is right click anywhere on your desktop and create new text document. Call this whatever you want. It does not matter. When you open it, first thing you wanna do before writing anything is save as. We're gonna convert this to a batch file by tapping in the extension .bat as opposed to .txt. Save this and a little icon will pop up with two gears bring this down, close the notepad, delete this, we do not need it, and right click on the gears and click edit. It'll pull up the same notepad, and in here we will start writing the lines of code. First thing you wanna write is MD for make directory. This code is used to make a directory. Directory in command prompt language means folder. So MD, and here you wanna name it whatever you want. I'm gonna call it new project. Here's the issue, if I save this and run it, Here's what it's gonna create, two folders. We do not want that. So in order to make one, only one folder, we add quotations. Next, we want to create folders inside this. So we will use the code CD, which is change directory. This will allow us to move from point A to point B. From point A being wherever this icon is. So say this is in a folder, then when I will run it, it will create the folder uh, inside that other folder in which this file will be located. And, okay. Now let's save this. We have CD, so for change directory, and now we want to go move into our folder new project. So CD new project, we do not need quotations for this. Underneath this, we will create more folders. So here we will create folders source, but I wanna create another one, so without any comma or colon or a semicolon, whatever you want. You do not put anything, just a space bar, source, and then you can put a, move on to the next name of your next folder. I'm gonna create three source outputs and renders. When I save this, as you can see, I have source outputs and renders. Moving on, I wanna create more subfolders inside source. So CD source to change directory to source. And in here, I will create more. Here, I will create image and sound. Here's where it gets a little different. Instead of clicking CD, say I want to create one sum in outputs, I cannot just create, I cannot just type this line of code in because currently we are in source. We are not in a new project. In order to get to outputs, we need to man, uh, maneuver back, navigate back to new project in this folder so that we have access to these three folders. So I cannot just click change directory to outputs, it will not find it. I have to go CD two dots and that will allow us to move back one step. There is another co code that is CD forward slash will, which will allow you to go from wherever you are in command prompt, let me show you, to uh, so say I'm in windows.boot. So now I'm in windows. So as you saw, change directory to boot. This is another folder that is in it. Now I'm here. When I click cd dot dot, it moves back one. And when I click cd forward slash, it moves back to the baseline, which is whatever drive you are in, which is your C drive typically. That's, that's the drive of, of, of your windows, whatever you set that up to be. Anyway. CD dot dot, under here we want to go into outputs, so CD outputs. In here we will create the next ones, which it will be, uh, I don't actually want anything in outputs, so let's go into renders, and let's create um, 
uh, 4K and then, oh, sorry, MD 4K and then 1080p. And let's call a uh, last one. Uh, what's the word? Um, proxies. Okay. Save, and you have it. When you open this up, you have your directory tree. That was an easy little tutorial for you guys. It's more of a workaround than anything else. There are a couple other lines of code to make this any cleaner. There's the for code, which is a looping code, uh, but there's a lot of variables involved. And if you're into code, you can use that one. It can save your life and it can actually use, be useful for other things. Otherwise, you have the classic MKDIR, which is interchangeable with MD and allows you to create uh, one subfolder. So say I create uh, MKDIR, right now we're in renders. Let's create one called goofball, whatever. And then if I do a forward slash, or sorry, a backslash rather, and call this one goofy and save that, I run this. Actually, it won't work because right now I have this. So I run this. It will create my new project. And when I go all the way to renders, I'll have goofball here and it will automatically create one subfolder. The issue is you cannot create more than one subfolder. So that's one little workaround, guys. If you guys enjoyed this, please hit a like or dislike and subscribe, whatever you guys feel is necessary. And I'll see you in a next video.